Would you want to live on a volcano that has a magma chamber that is 1,000 times larger than that of a conventional volcano? Would you like to live there? I wouldn't, but people live there in Pozzuoli, in Naples, at the Campi Flegri super volcano that had and can have the largest and most voluminous eruptions on Earth. And now there's new rock models that suggest, and that's concerning, guys, that's why I'm making this video, that the Campi Flegri translated the burning fields, Flegrian fields in English, that this supervolcano is more likely to erupt than previously thought. Oh, that's not good. Because we just heard from scientists that Italy's supervolcano is more dangerous than they previously thought. They keep finding new stuff almost every month that is way more concerning. And at the same time, the events there are escalating. The number of earthquakes, the number of magnitudes, the land rise, the heating up of the hydrothermal system. So magma is building up beneath the surface. And scientists have located this so-called hot zone at a very shallow depth that is feeding this supervolcano in southern Italy near Naples with more than 6 million people. And the experts are saying it is nearing eruption conditions. The volcano's caldera was formed 39,000 years ago and it's considered in geology one of the largest eruptions in history. Hold my beer, Yellowstone, is Campi Flegre saying. So Campi Flegre has roughly 24 craters. And if you look at the aerial pictures, and we could say that the action of Campi Flegre could be compared to meteor meteorites. How do you spell that? Meteorites? Meteoroiten in Germany falling to earth. That level of destruction. So what's this thing with the rocks? Let's look deeper into this. So the volcanic nature of Campi Flegri or these Flegrian fields has already been known in ancient times. It seems it has been forgotten in the new times because until recently people always thought that Vesuvius is the problem. Vesuvius is, compared to Campi Flegri, Vesuvius is, is the crumble and Campi Flegri is the big cake. So they were, or still are, various hot springs and fumaroles, these hot gas emissions, and they were a popular holiday destination for wealthy Romans. And when in 79 AD, the nearby Mount Vesuvius erupted, we know what happened. It was destroying the famous city of Pompeii. They were all like, oh, right? And then in 1539, there was a smaller eruption happening at Campi Flegri. That smaller is still good enough. That has formed Monte Nuevo, the new mountain. It's a 403 foot high cone that is clearly visible. And it's interesting that already in 1830, a geologist, Charles Liel has argued that a magma chamber deep underground would not only explain the active volcanoes, but also a strange phenomenon that he had observed. And that is really interesting. He said, if you look at the ruins in Pozzuoli of the Roman buildings, like the columns, he observed or he looked at these columns and he said on the columns of this Roman ruin, he saw boreholes in the rocks and they were made by marine mollusks and they are now found 22 feet above sea level so how is this possible so for him the only possible explanation was a large magma chamber that would periodically refill with magma molten rock so it would first pull the columns below sea level and then after some time lift the ground up again and push the columns above sea level again. So 
In our times, in the 1950s, in the 1970s, in the 1980s, I've reported a lot about this. They did record earthquakes in the area, also followed by a measurable ground uplift. We know that today that the magma chamber of Campi Flegri is located at a depth of 1.8 miles below ground level, so very, very shallow. Doesn't need to travel a lot. We also know that the caprock layer that keeps the lid on has only a third of its strength left that it had in the 1980s, so that's concerning. How exactly, though, that magma causes the observed ground uplift and the ground movements, it's still not fully understood. And that's why so many scientists say we need to understand more so that we can prepare better. Especially Giuseppe Di Natale is saying that. I've reported about his borehole program in my last video because that could give them a valuable insight. Because it was it was blocked by people who said, no, that will let the volcano explode. It's too dangerous. And then funding and then environmental stuff. So maybe they should really do that. They have several models right now. It's the classic model says the magma chamber fills up. And the larger the volume in the magma chamber, it pushes the overlying ground up. That's what's happening in Iceland right now. I've just released a video about this. Magma chamber is filling up, ground is rising. But an alternative model for Campi Flegri suggests that hot fluids from the magma heat the rock. And a large body of groundwater that is found underground of Campi Flegri. And as, as hot water is expanding, possesses a larger volume, it expands and the ground is pushed up. Or well, maybe both is happening. In any case, the University College of London has done simulations together with the Vesuvius Observatory in Naples with the INGV, and they have published this a little while ago under the title Progressive Approach to Eruption at Campi Flegri Caldera in southern Italy, progressive approach to eruption. So this has shown that this periodical land rise causes a large accumulation of stress, and that is never good, in the rocks above the magma chamber, in these rocks that should keep the lid on the magma, should it try to rise even further. And because these rocks are so under stress, it makes it more likely that magma will find a way to the surface. And that, of course, if magma finds a way to the surface, that increases the possibility of an eruption. I mean, Campi Flegri is quite active already with other volcanic activity, like the gas that is released from underground. It's bothering the CO2 gas emissions that have drastically escalated, are bothering people. Strong sulfur smell everywhere. So the new model that they have made that shows how these rocks that are covering the magma chamber react to a phase of land rise has shown an unexpected behavior. When we have a land rise during the uplift phase, the rocks are deforming because there's pressure from underneath. It's like you're blowing up a balloon underneath the surface. And then they are under tension. And when rocks are under tension, they become more brittle. And that makes it more easy for magma to break through, to break the rocks and form a volcanic conduit to the surface. That's what's happening in Iceland. That's what happened in Iceland on November 10th with this large magma intrusion and then with all these eruptions that followed. So the previous geological models assumed that as soon as the pressure in the magma chamber would decrease for whatever reason, that the tension in the overlying rocks would decrease as well. But, here comes the but, the new model suggests otherwise, and that is interesting. So it says the tensions tend to constantly accumulate over time, no matter whether the land is rising or subsiding. So when the ground is lifted up, the rocks break and magma is injected from the deep-seated magma chamber into a shallower place 
into shallower areas where it can accumulate. And then the magma, even if it doesn't make it to the surface, it cools and it solidifies in these areas that it has formed, in these hollow spaces that it has formed. And basically it creates a newly formed rock volume. And this new rock tends to maintain the surrounding rock under pressure and tension. So with every phase of land rise, guys, this is what we have to understand. The rocks are exposed to higher tension forces, becoming more brittle and more prone to breaking each time. So this new model that shows how these rocks behave under increased stress by magma movements of course, can't predict a specific eruption. But what's the draw from this? And that's the concerning point. It suggests that eruptions will be more likely occur in the future as the rock strength tends to decrease. With every day, it decreases. Slowly but constantly over time, guys. So instead of one large uplift where we say, oh, now it's coming, this is super concerning, already a number of minor uplifts will add to breaking the already weakened rocks. And that will cause the eruption of a new volcano. And that's why this is so concerning. Because we know the ground before the last eruption was rising 10 meters. We're at 4 meter 25 right now. But now the phase of land rise is very, very long since 2005. In the 80s, it was only two years. And since then, that caprock layer only has a third of its strength left. So since 2005, it was already rising constantly. Now it's accelerating the land rise already. Now we're at three centimeters per month, increasing the stress even further. So very concerning, guys. I thought you would want to know about that. If you want to know more about what's going on at Campi Fligri, please check my playlist and check the videos in the end screen. There's a lot of stuff going on that we should know about. And I just recently, I had some friends that I know from Facebook, um, from North America, they said they, they're going to travel to Rome. And I said to them, hey, don't go to Naples, don't go to Campi Fligri. And I see their travel videos yesterday where they're right in Pozzuoli. <laughs> I'm like, oh gosh, I don't think they even know. I mean, I told them, but I don't think they, they really listened. So yeah, I'm here to inform you guys I hope you liked it. If you did, give this video a like, guys, and subscribe for being on the pulse with me every day. And if you'd like to support the channel, become a supporting monthly member. You just have to click the join button, but the link is also in the description of this video. And if you want to keep me going with coffees, um, I have a buymecoffee slash silky site. Link is also in the description. Um, I see you soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.